Hi guys, today is Brick's third day birthday and he is here. We're feeding him and he's in his cute little sailor outfit that has a well on it that my Aunt Barbie and her girls got him and it's super duper cute and it's really easy to put on as well. So he doesn't cry as much if I, if I put clothes over his head, he really cries. If I'm able to do it fast and easy, he doesn't cry that much. So we like fast and easy, so. <laughs> So today, um, so today my brother and his two girls and my mom came over to visit because they were out of town this past weekend. So my brother and the girls haven't seen his, haven't seen um, my son yet. So it's really cool though because he has a daughter that's four months old. So they're only four months apart. So they'll be good buddies. And then his oldest is three. And they came over, and which was really cool because we already have this like um, really fun place set up on the floor where you can exchange the letters, numbers, and then we also have a toddler toy, like a little baby toy, which is really cool too. So once they came over, um, his oldest daughter was ready to play, and then the other one was um, in Brick's new toy, which was super cute. So it was a piano that... Um, Michael's cousin Meredith and Mike got for him, so it was really cool to see uh, the four-month-old four play with the the piano toy. And then after that, Michael had to run to the bank, so he decided to take me and Brick with him to do a family outing. So if you uh, bribe me with ice cream or a shake, I guess I will go. <laughs> so we got Brick already. It did take a minute because we had to change his diaper twice and uh, change his outfit. <laughs> so we went ahead and went with uh, with Dad. We went to the bank. Well, first we went and got our chocolate shakes, then we went to the bank, and then we went to Walmart. Yes, I will have to say, chocolate shakes always come first when you're in high stress environments. My final answer. <laughs> So we went and did that, and um, we went to uh, the store as well because we were out of water. And um, I sat in the car with Brick and our dog Alice. And it started raining outside. Good thing it was sprinkling because Michael had the front windows down. So it wasn't pouring yet, but um, we got water and we got um, pizza and Sprite since I haven't been drinking soda. <laughs> so I kind of been drinking a little bit more because I do like bubbles. <laughs> so. And then it's been a nice day. I mean, it's, it rained a lot. It smells so good. So Brick actually got to um, get to feel what it's like to have rain uh, fall on his face, which was cute. He was just, I guess, I don't know, Michael brought him in, so. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I knew my son would like the refreshing component of rain on his gentle face. I just had a feeling he, because he enjoys sunshine additionally. So, just wanted to add to that. <laughs> Oh, and then also today we did find a pediatrician, thanks to my sister-in-law, because I did not want to have to do research. And she loves this pediatrician, so Brick will be there tomorrow morning to see him. And, um, yeah, and then I made my appointment as well, which is in a month, of course. So I see my doctor in May, first week of May. So things are good. From the man perspective, I will just let you know about a few caveats. Well, when Ashley and I first got pregnant, everyone warned me about her mood swings, and not, not her mood swings, but any woman that gets pregnant is gonna have a lot of hormonal changes. So I was prepared, um, but she actually has handled, she handled her uh, pregnancy with grace, elegance, fortitude, and brilliance. Um, at least that's what I told her so I wouldn't get yelled at. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, she was great with her, pr her pregnancy. Um, but you know what's funny is having a child in the first few days is so much more difficult than dealing with a pregnant mommy. Um, be mostly because you have to feed this child every two hours, okay? I don't know how uh, single parents do it. Um, it's near impossible. Um, because when do you sleep? It's like every two hours. And so, but finally we have gotten to a rhythm. The rhythm is, um, he eats, he burps, he sleeps, he poops. He eats, he burps, he poops, he sleeps. Wait, did I say that again twice? Anyway, you have to understand, we are delirious, we have not slept, we are 
I mean, uh, my, my dad was supposed to come over and visit today and he wasn't feeling too well and I really wanted to see him, but I'm actually glad that he didn't come over because I don't know if we would have been the best company because we are delirious, my friends. Um, anyway, uh, Brick is growing like a weed. Uh, he seems to um, eat almost double every single day. So that's good, we feel confident about that. Um, but outside of that, tomorrow we're really gonna try to stick to a schedule. Um, last night I did do Spanish with him and he did very well with his Spanish. Um, we did Japanese, we did about two hours of Japanese and about an hour of Spanish and he did very well. Um, I did about 20 minutes of band practice because I was too tired and had to change the diaper again. Uh, so I still have to do band practice with him today. And then we have to do about three hours of scales to form those neuronal pathways. And um, you know, just remember, neurons that fire together wire together and neurons that are out of sync lose their link. That is like the neuroscientist bumper sticker that you'll see on the back of every professor's car because it is so true. So anyway, uh, so proud of this kid. And uh, clearly he does have his mom's looks. Um, um, except I do believe he has my fingers and my toes. Yeah. Oh, that's something about children. So um, for those of you who don't know, a lot, I know a lot of you mommies probably already know this, but for a lot of you that don't know, uh, the color of the child's eye, it takes a while for it to actually come in. Ashley, uh, do you remember the data on that? Uh, when does it actually come in? I think it's four to six months because my nieces took, I think, six months. And I still have one that um, she's still, we're still deciding if she's going to be brown eyes or blue eyes. So we don't know which way. She's four months. So by no Mason, it took about six months to figure out she was a brown eye baby. So... But his blue eyes are coming in. They look strong. So I think because Michael's more blue. I have blue. Mine are blue or green. So, but blue is pretty dominant. So, but he looks like his daddy. He looks like he has, definitely has his eyes. That's the first thing I said when I saw him. He looks just like Michael. <laughs> so he's cute. And then my mom, uh, my mom continues to step it up. Um, it's, uh, it's a little bit hilarious because we have had to set some boundaries with our families because, of course, everyone wants to see Brick, but, you know, we're only getting, you know, hardly any sleep because we feed him every two hours. Uh, so we have set some boundaries, uh, not because we don't like our family, but just because we do have to get sleep at some point. So my mom is like kind of found ways to sneak her way into seeing Brick anyway. <laughs> like yesterday, she's like, do you guys need any groceries? And we're like, we're tired, but we're like... Uh, free groceries. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and then today she took it to a whole nother level, but we, uh, but we just, you know, we're just so tired. It's just not possible. But today she offered massages for both of us. She's like, um, would you guys like a massage? And I'm like, okay, I guess she really wants to see Brick today. And I, I signed up for that. Absolutely. I think Ashley has to wait a little bit because she's still ha healing from, um, some of her surgeries. Do you want to tell them a little more detail about your journey as far as like uh, some of um, some of the things that went wrong and some of the things that went right uh, with the delivery? Because uh, because um, I know that your situation is unique in some ways because you did have a little bit of damage. And that's one of the things we spent all this time on brick, but Ashley really needs a lot of attention right now too, because she's having some medical issues. She'll get through them, but I'll let you, I'll let you tell them a little bit about that. Our friends. Well, I didn't really see it because I was of course pushing him out, but I was hoping I wasn't tearing. <laughs> that was like my biggest concern, but having your, you know, your first child, you're going to tear. It seems like it seems I've been reading blogs and stuff with mommy blogs, but, um, I was pushing him out and I kept looking at Michael giving like, am I tearing? <laughs> and he's like, you're doing so great. You're doing so great. And then afterwards he's like, it was a bloody massacre back there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was a murder scene, but you're not, you're not going to tell, you know, the woman delivering a baby that that's what it looks like. Well, actually, the first three uh, quarters of the delivery, you were, it was awesome. You were doing awesome with your contractions. Everything was going well. But then there wasn't enough room and things got bad quick. And I almost passed out for what I saw because I was part of the delivery. I was right there in there. I was, I was pushing her legs up on the contractions. I was a huge part of the delivery. 
and uh, so I saw it firsthand. But as things got worse and blood was ever, there's so much blood that the, some of the blood got in the doctor's mouth. My shorts had blood on them. Okay, I'm probably getting into too much detail here, but this is all truth. So um, some of you might find it fascinating. Anyway, uh, oh, so I'm so tired. I lost my train of thought. What was the what was, what was the point of what I was saying? <laughs> Just talking about me um, getting sewn up. So I guess Michael said I got sewn up. Well, Dr. Capul said I got three different layers, but Michael also said there were staples, but I didn't see her staple. Okay, wait, now I, I remember my train of thought. So my train of thought was this, is that I had to put on a poker face. <laughs> So she, I was like, you're so brave, you got this. I was saying all that stuff when really I was almost passing out. Um, and she kept looking at me, she was giving me that look, you know, like we trust each other, you always tell me the truth, uh, what's going on? And I'm like, okay, this is one of the few times, the rare times where it's better to lie. <laughs> And so I was just smiling at her while blood's flying everywhere. I'm like, oh, the pregnancy's going perfect. You're awesome. And she's like, okay, good. Because, you know, of course she had epidural. So anyway, go ahead. <laughs> but um, as soon as I saw Dr. Capole pull the needle out, I was like, oh, no. But it took about, I think, 30 minutes for her to sew me up. It took a long time. So Michael was holding the baby. I didn't hold. I held Brick, of course, in the beginning when they threw him on my chest. But um, I didn't hold him until she was almost done sewing me up but I couldn't believe she was just like in there sewing 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 and then a nurse had to help her do stuff too and it was just crazy but we we know our doctor's really good it's just hard because you're sore so if you're not on top of the medication <laughs> you'll start feeling it it doesn't feel very nice so and then also having um bowel movements that's not enjoyable either so I guess more in the detail of having a baby but it's all worth it at the end when you see this cute little bundle of joy so but um yeah it's been hard like right now I'm hurting <laughs> but I have to sit on soft chairs if I don't sit on soft chairs I'm gonna regret it because I did sit on a hard one and I regret it now so just make sure if you sit on a hard chair you got pills underneath you you're always sitting on a soft chair um take your time don't rush because I, I felt like I did that at the hospital. I was up and down, up and down. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do this, I can do this. But I believe I did it a little bit too overboard. So I think that's why I'm hurting a bit more than usual. I wasn't hurting that bad probably because I was, they just kept me medicated. So. <laughs> and I was really excited about my baby. And there's a lot of people coming in and out of the hospital. So I think I was just very distracted by that. But once we got home, the pain started coming. Well, friends, I think this is going to wrap up our third day birthday vlog. Thank you for joining us. Brick thanks you. Ashley thanks you. I thank you. Alice thanks you. And of course, remember our slogan, no matter how different we may be, if we treat each other with respect, we can always be friends. Keep that in your heart and keep that in your mind. And we will see you tomorrow.